Welcome back you beautiful people and today is a very special day. We've got a special guest, Oli Beckinsale. He is three times Olympian. That's the one. Five national champs, so he's won that five times. And he got silver in a Commonwealth Games in cross country. Yes, Oli Beckinsale. You know, the whole CV. Yeah, and he's done 16 years of it. 16 years of full pain. time. 16 years of pain. You would have thought I would have just started doing something else at oh, some yeah. time, but well, hey, we're here. It's a lucky day. He's going to show us the ropes on how to go for an epic long ride. Okay, so there's not a lot of stuff I'll be able to teach Blake about downhill. And definitely not jumping. But all my years of cross country racing, I've learned bird rider more efficiently, being able to climb as well as possible. And it's those skills that we can get across into all day trail riding. And these can help Enduro, we've got to link the sections, this can help the trail ride, and even, of course, XC racing itself. So we're going to head out for a little ride today. Little one? Yes. Couple of hours? Cup, right, How, couple, yeah. Maybe three? Three hours. Yeah. Dude, I've only got one bottle of water. Ah, first case. Lesson number one. Lesson number one. I'm gonna water, learn, I'm gonna learn food. Hard way. Yeah, but we'll be right. right. I'll follow you. Cool, cheers. <laughs> you get snacks. We got snacks. I, didn't got, I haven't got anything. Energy gels. Energy gels, what about? <laughs> Big thing with climbing is pacing, engaging your effort. All right. Yeah. So all the time you're looking ahead and we're saying, well, what's coming up? How long's the climb? Giving you some signs, how steep is it going to be? And trying to work out the severity and how long it's going to take. Yeah. Then the idea is to then gauge your effort. If it's a 10 second climb, no stress. We can just punch up it. That's right, I just go. Yeah. <laughs> then you're in your element, yeah. all right? But you can use the power, get up it, out the saddle. Longer climbs, we want to sit down, choose the gears that you need, and just try and pace the effort for the duration. If Cadence, it's a, is that a sort of thing? You're yeah, doing? so what we're looking and trying to do is look after our muscles as much as possible during the ride. Mm -hmm. If we're looking at about 60, 70 revolutions a minute, so feeling strain in your legs, you're not going to be able to do that for a long ride, two hours, three hours. A better cadence, yep. 80, yep. 90 if you can. Yep. Sitting down, riding efficiently, yep. relaxed upper body. Out the saddle is okay for producing power, but it burns loads of energy. So short bursts, longer than 20 seconds, yep. sit down and spin it out. Right. All right. Longer climb, the key is, is just getting up that climb, yep. saving energy. A good one is use your breathing. All right. Which if I don't you can, normally do. Yeah, so if your breathing's out of control, yeah too hard okay. for a long climb. So you want to be able to still have a conversation if you could. Okay. All right, so we're going to rock on down here, turn left, big climb, and we've got to have a chat the whole way up. How big is this climb? It's five like minutes. Five minutes. Oh, that's not that bad. I thought it was 30. Nah, <laughs> we're all right. I'll follow you down cool. here. How are we doing there? Oh, mate. <laughs> I think I went a bit too hard. We got that gel. <laughs> How did you do that? You rode it all wrong, mate. So Blake just smashed up that hill. It was a five minute climb, gave him some warning, but he couldn't help it on the steep part, yep. but just, just kick in. So it's quite a common mistake is not to pace that climb, push too hard. And although it might be faster in a section overall, it's going to be slower and it's going to be really painful. Because I died halfway up. You died you big time. Talk. The other downside is obviously we've just climbed up. Mountain biking, for most of us on our trail rides, is all about the descents. If we've overpaced the climb, got it wrong, as we hit the top, completely gas, breathing hard, when we drop into the descent to go and have a load of fun or racing, downside is we're going to ride it slower, and all those tech skills that you've got, yeah. you're not going to be using when you can't see straight. All out the door. Yes. All out the door. Yeah. So it's about if we can. It's about starting steady, yeah. finishing strong on yeah. the climbs, drop us down into the descent, and then we can use all the skills, have fun, whatever we want to do. Enduro racing. If we pace those sections between, yeah. get to the top, just about to start your section, it means you're all on top of it. Energy can focus on the on racing the bit. Yeah. yeah, that's the key. Look at that punchy ass climb. Acorn climb. Why is it called acorn climb? Ah, is right. Acorn around here. 
when I used to have my training days, yeah. this was the perfect training rep hill. All right, 20 seconds steep, yeah. acorn climb, because yeah. if I was doing you know, 15, 20 reps, yeah. can't 20 count. 20 reps. 20 reps, mate. But I can't count that much. No, okay, no. bit tight. Make a little pile of acorns. Yeah. Every time I finish one, you get throw it snack. away. You get to throw, throw it away. away. Well, number one. Only one rep today though. Only one. Right. But the key is to these short steep climbs, this is right in your territory now. You're a more powerful guy than me. You can use that sprint power. Yep. So about less than 20 seconds, you can power up. We don't have to look, think about the efficiency sitting down bit. The fastest way to get up these, it's big power, power out the saddle. It's got loads of grip today. So we can ride out the saddle quite aggressively, a bit more like a road sprint. Yep. If we've got low grip, you're gonna have to sit down, still full power. Yeah. Nudge forward a little on the front of the saddle to yep. keep that weight forward a bit, to yep. stop the front wheel rising. Yep. Another key one, think about putting your elbows down towards your knees. Okay. Pull your elbows to your knees, activates all your core, yep. keeps you strong, steady, and then that can get the power to the legs. Okay. All right. But today yeah. we can just go for it, full gas. I'm learning all the way here and I've got power to do that. This is, this is your climb, mate. We'll start from here. Go. Go for it, three. Ah, go with the jump on me. Not even clipped yet. Nino power! <laughs> Okay, we'll put it. Whoa! Oh man. Right, how you doing? Feeling good? Uh, feeling hungry. Not so good here, man. Right, so we're two hours in now. All right. Yes. And it's really time that we, we should have probably eaten already, but it's now yeah, time to have a, a snack. Long time ago. So any ride that you're doing, probably over an hour and a half, yeah. two hours tops, you need to get some food or some energy inside you. Yeah. Um, so I've got some snacks. You got oh. anything? I can, I can lend you a snack, mate. Okay, so some pro tips for you. I'm getting a bit more technical. We just stopped and had a gel, I had a bar. Yep. That had about 30 grams of carbohydrate in. Wow. Okay. Yep. So what we're looking to do, you want to take on board when you're riding on a long, steady ride, about 50 to 60 grams an hour. Wow, okay, we've just missed one. We've missed one, right? So we've got some catching up to do in yeah. the car. But if we have one of those, so one of those is about 30. Yeah. So two bits of food, and a food could be a small bar, it could be a banana, it could be a gel, like Blake just had. All those add up, but if we're having that and ticking that every hour on a long ride, we're not going to get that energy low in the back end of the ride. Fluid-wise, we want to have about one water bottle, it's about 500 mil, at least an hour, more on a hotter day. Yeah. But if we're ticking in the carbohydrate, we're ticking in the fluid, it means we're not going to get that low in the last hour of the ride. We can finish strong and enjoy the descents. As soon as we start running out of energy, dehydrating, punctures, bad descending, and the fun times end. That was a good end, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is Here there is more it? of that? There's more, mate. We thought we got another two like that. Really? <sighs> Proper trail. Yeah. You were gaffing me on those big bits. Oh, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But thing to bear in mind, obviously, cross country, yeah. it's good to have a bit of a blast on the trails, but we are about an hour from the end. Right, so bear in mind, you're not on your big downhill trail bike. Yeah. We're on 130 mil, yeah. 29ers, yeah. slightly light tyres. Yeah. So the key on those descents is a bit of preservation. Yes. We still have a bit of fun, but big rocks, big roots. Try and think a bit XC. Yeah. Smooth line. Yeah. Not less say tires on the floor, but think smooth. Yes. Right. right. As soon as we're taking off those big rocks, jumps, punches, not just crashes. Just, yeah. We just want to try and keep things a little smoother. A little Nino shooter. Yeah. Less Blake Sampson. <laughs> 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 okay, so we hear Blake here. His, his natural style is to jump off pretty much everything. You can see he's using the rock here to kind of make a little gap jump which is all cool. The downside is it's not so smooth and we're risking flat tires um, and buckling wheels. So you can see on my style coming through, hopefully still carrying some speed, but smooth, a bit more XC style than trail center style. Bear in mind, we still got a long way to ride. Right, I've been told off. Okay, so take it easy. <laughs> Conservation, Conservation, I think it's a good, oh, good word okay. for it. Right, and then if we get, if get, it's about getting from A to B. Yeah as quick as we can, right. pacing our efforts over the three hours. I'm gonna follow you down. Keeping it air in the tires. Yeah. So I'll go first this time. Yeah. 
cool. stick behind. It's good actually, good key to know. So we made it. Yeah. So here, we cafe. Well, I survived. Cafe, coffee, cake. Yeah. Three hours in the bag, and you got it done. Uh, do you know when was the last time we did a three-hour mountain bike ride? I don't know. Without stopping, like in the cave, not I haven't. But we but did I, it. But what I, I have learned a hell of a lot within those three hours. I've learned a lot. So the key is today we did. We can't control the pace. So the best way from A to B is steady speed. Obviously, we can't do that all yeah. the time because we've got the hills on the yeah. way. So the key is just to try and stop the peaks and troughs of that effort. So on yeah, the climbs, you're trying to hold back a little bit, which we did. Yeah. And on the flats, that's when we can carry some good speed. Yeah, yeah. On the descent, having loads of fun, but just trying to keep our spikes in one piece. But not have too much fun because you've got to conserve your bike, not just yourself, but your bike. Conserve your bike, conserve your energy. Because it's the long game. It's all about the long game. I'm learning to slow down. When it comes to <laughs> long rides, slow down. So it's not about being a fun hater, it's just about keeping wheels round. Yeah air in the tyres, mm -hmm. get to the finish. The main thing is we had our gel stop, that saved your ass. Yep, this has saved me right now. Yeah, and now it's the payback time, but yeah. we got through it. Main thing is pacing on the climbs, keeping the breathing, yeah. and being able to have a conversation, yeah. some energy and water ticking in, yeah. and then just trying to stop those. Unless it's those little surges on the climbs, That's steady, when, yeah. use the gears. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. But that was a great ride. So good, thank you very much, Ollie. And thank Cheers, you man. so much for giving us all that input and you viewers as well to help you gain a lot more, you know, a lot more experience on going for longer, longer rides out there. Now, if you want to stick around and you haven't subscribed because you're missing out on some rad stuff, click that globe to subscribe because you're missing out. And if you want to watch another epic ride or a challenge, click just down here for that video. Give us a thumbs up like, and we'll see you the next time. Well, how far do we have to go home? Five minutes, easy life, mate. Ha <laughs> ha.